When you think of a robotic arm, you probably imagine something rigid, mechanical, and, let's be honest, pretty clunky. Cold steel, stiff joints, and maybe even sparks flying in a factory. But what if I told you scientists have created a robotic arm that bend, twist, and stretch like an octopus? Sounds unreal, right? Well, nope. It's very real. So real that it could change how we design robots. Drop a comment below with your first thoughts and stick around for a meme that sums it all up. Nice. A group of researchers from Greece, led by Emmanuel Papadakis, have just unveiled their incredible invention in their paper titled An Octopus-Inspired Soft Pneumatic Robotic Arm, published just last week. Their goal? To answer a bold question, what if robots could be as flexible as an octopus? Now let's step back for a second. Conventional robotic arms are fantastic at strength and precision, but throw them into a delicate, unpredictable environment, like underwater exploration or complex surgery and they struggle. Why? Because they're rigid and lack adaptability. But here's the thing, nature cracked this code a millennia ago. Octopus arms are what scientists call muscular hydrostats, structures made entirely of muscle. No bones, no joints. Just pure, flexible awesomeness. They can bend, elongate, and twist in any direction with insane precision. So how did these scientists pull it off? They designed it using soft silicone embedded with pneumatic chambers. Think of these chambers as artificial muscles. By controlling how air flows into each chamber, the arm can bend, stretch, and most impressively twist around its central axis. And we're not talking about simple motions here. This arm has three independent segments that work together to form complex shapes, just like an octopus grabbing its prey or a surgeon maneuvering through vital organs. But wait, it gets better. To keep these movements precise and stable, they used 3D printed rings that mimic the octopus's transverse muscles. It's not just imitation, it's like a robotic cephalopod. Now, here's what I think. Honestly, I'm pretty amazed by how much nature continues to inspire cutting-edge tech. Who would have thought the key to solve our robotic limitations was chilling in the ocean all this time? But here's an interesting debate. Should we prioritize biomimicry over purely human-made designs in future robotics, or are there limits to how much we should copy nature? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious to know what you guys think. And now, for the part you've been waiting for, drumroll please. Become a biter and join the BioBite tribe. Check out this other video on how spider silk reinvents arteries. See you guys next Wednesday!